All right, so here we are in the back end of a brand new TikTok shop, and I'm just gonna give you kind of a rundown and a little tour and overview of exactly where things are so you know where to get started. Now, right around in the middle here, you're gonna have your shop insights. On the side here, you're gonna have a little brief overview of your shop health. So obviously you wanna every single time you log in on the homepage, make sure that all of these numbers over here are good and your account is in good standing because if any of these fall below for a certain period of time, then you might lose your selling privileges. One of the things that we'll cover later is the incubation program and how you can basically get TikTok shop to promote your products for you and give you coupons to then give to your customers and give to your viewers to entice them to purchase. And basically what that means is TikTok's gonna take a portion of the cost on themselves and you win obviously because you get the sale at the normal rate but the customer wins as well because they get the cheaper product and they get a discount and the person paying the difference is TikTok, right the company's actually fronting some of the money just to kind of spark some sales on your shop because they want to introduce more customers to the buying experience on TikTok, as well as inspire new shops to get started so that the more shops that they have, obviously the more products they have available to buyers and the more the buyers will buy and the more money they'll make, right? So take advantage of the incubation program in the beginning. Now, as you scroll down, you can see any of the active campaigns that you have going on here that are available to you. Do you wanna join one of these? A lot of times there'll be like a TikTok shop promotion that they're running. So if you join the campaign, you can potentially get some more coupons or some more perks. Just check it out, they change from time to time. Now, obviously on the top here, you're gonna have affiliate marketing. So you can see your affiliate homepage and how you can find creators to promote your products because they're gonna get a commission when they promote your products and then obviously you get a sale. It really works well because everything is integrated on the TikTok platform. So if they're a creator with an audience within the niche of the products that you're listing on your TikTok shop, well, then it might be a perfect marriage because they can promote your products to their followers that are already built around that specific topic and niche and get a commission for any sales and then you get sales without doing any of the work right so affiliate marketing obviously that's up there you can check what's going on live with like your promotions or anything that you're running and you can go to the TikTok shop academy if you want to learn a little bit more they have some basics of what it is how to get started how to list products and the different nuances and ways that viewers are going to be able to buy your products on TikTok shop so this is definitely something that everybody should check out as well. Now on the left here, you're always gonna have your home tab. You're gonna have your orders tab. So if you click into this, you can manage all your orders. It's really easy. Again, I'm gonna show you how to actually manage an order. Same thing, you manage your return. So if a customer has a return request, this actually happened to me like last week, then you can manage and grant returns in there, or you can actually even deny a return and then give TikTok why you're denying their return, right? In my opinion, it's really gonna depend person to person, but in my opinion, as long as it's not like some fraudulent return where there's a ridiculous claim that doesn't even make sense, I would go ahead and just grant all returns because whether you're selling on Amazon, whether you're selling on Facebook Marketplace, you know, Poshmark, Etsy, or in this case, TikTok shop, you want happy customers, right? Even if somebody's returning something and you have to take a slight hit, trust me when I tell you that you want to take the slight hit on the return for that specific return because you want the privilege of selling on the platform. You want happy customers that are gonna give you good reviews. And the last thing you wanna start doing is nickel and diming returns because then it's gonna to lead to unhappy customers that are gonna give you bad reviews, which is gonna be a snowball effect and affect your entire shop. It's also gonna make you look bad over time as more and more of those happen on TikTok shop. So it might hurt your account health. And realistically, if you're taking a $5 loss for shipping charge on a return here and there, it's worth it to do that every once in a while for the privilege of selling on the platform because you're gonna make a lot more money, you're gonna keep customers happy, and you want to be able to do this long-term, right? You're not in this to make a short-term $1,000, right? We wanna make thousands of dollars every month going forward. Grant returns, unless again, it's something completely fraudulent or completely ridiculous, then don't. That's my two cents, you don't have to listen to it, but that's been my experience over five, six years. Strongly in the e-commerce game now, it's never worth it to argue or piss off a customer. Because trust me when I tell you that they have a lot more power at their disposal to report you and give you a bad rating, than you have to just not grant their return for the $40 revenue that you might be giving up. Now the next tab is the shipping settings. So you can print shipping labels from here for any orders. You can also go through your shipping options and create your shipping templates. Again, we're gonna go through an entire shipping template tutorial and how to set it up. So we'll cover that in a future lecture. Now your products, this is where you're gonna manage all the products that you have up on your shop. 
It's also where you're going to add new products. Again, we covered specific ratings on your shop as a whole, but you're also going to get ratings on specific products as buyers start to buy them and then rate them a lot. Like you'll see on an Amazon listing, for example, right? Like you see every product on Amazon has specific ratings on that product. This is going to be the same thing on your TikTok shop. As buyers start to buy more, you're going to get ratings promotions, right? So if you're starting to run campaigns or you want to, you know, give like a certain percentage off your products or, you know, run a certain free shipping promotion. Again, we're going to cover this in a future lecture, but the promotions can all happen within this. Then your analytics. So as you start to list more products, as you start to get different people landing on your product pages, what are your conversion rates, right? What are the analytics that go into this? And this is kind of rudimentary in the beginning, right? Like there's not a lot of depth here yet but it is promising that they're constantly, as you can see here, like market analytics, new data overview, new. It is very promising that they're starting to introduce more analytic features because the more data that they provide us in the back end, obviously the more information that we have to make informed decisions moving forward. I haven't really played around with the analytics too, too much, but it is a good thing that they're introducing this and starting to provide us with analytics. So as we move forward, we can make better decisions on what products are in demand how customers are responding to different products, right? Why our conversion rate is good or why it's bad and how to improve it and all sorts of things like that. So analytics are all handled there. Again, account health, if you want a little bit more in depth, you can click into the shop experience and the account health. Like I said before, it's over here, just like the main stuff. But if you want all the details, you can go to account health, shop health right here. So the next one is growth here. So you're going to see any missions that you might have or any rewards that you might have. So for example, if you went through the incubation program and you started promoting things or you got, you know, some coupons to actually give to your audience, then those would be listed in your rewards. If you signed up for like a campaign down here and now you have a mission to post a certain amount of products within a certain day or whatever it is, there's a lot of different examples of this. Well, that's gonna be in your missions and you're gonna be able to see that there. Apps and services, so if you wanna connect any third-party apps or anything like that, but it's good again, like I said, to see that they're introducing these things, so they're gonna start integrating TikTok Shop with some third-party apps, so as more and more software companies start developing things for this, we can start integrating different apps into the back end here so that you know potentially we can automate a lot of this in the future but that's not happening right now this is still very very new at your tiktok shop as a whole is very very new and there really aren't that many software companies creating integrated apps for this but it is again like i said just like the analytics tab very promising to see that they're introducing this and that this is clearly going to be something that's going to be around for the long haul and something that we're going to be able to utilize in the future as more and more companies create apps and different things for this your finances is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you set up how you get paid, whether you're linking your bank account, whether you're doing like PayPal or whatever. You can also see your statements, like what you're earning when you're getting paid out and why. Any of your account information, right? So set up your account, it's pretty self-explanatory. You wanna set up your profile, what your store name is, what the back end of your shop name is, your different account settings. And then anytime you want to link an account, like we're gonna cover this in another lecture as well, but anytime you wanna switch your linked account, if for whatever reason your TikTok page you want to switch like your niche or something, that's where you do it in linked accounts. Buyer messages, anytime you get a buyer message, you should get an email as well, but you can see them in buyer messages here by clicking that. And then finally, if you need to reach out to TikTok support, then you can do it under this help tab right here. You can see the, the questions that have been asked in help center already, but if you want to chat directly with TikTok support, then you can do that here. And so that's a simple overview of exactly what the TikTok shop seller center looks like. It's very new, very rudimentary, but as I'm seeing day in and day out, they're starting to add new features here and they're starting to kind of improve this. 